can't think. <laughs> so this little video is... Go I'm really not doing well. So I've put together some videos that I've taken over the past couple of months in 2022. And then after that, I'll talk through everything. So if you do want to listen, you can. Just pop your headphones on and just have me in the background, like have a cup of tea, just chill out. Um, and then after that, um, I'll let you guys know what's going on. It's sort of at the beginning of this year. So happy 2023, everybody. So I will chat about everything. My brain today is so slow. I'm really sorry if I'm speaking weird, like not weird, slow. I'm really sorry if I'm speaking slow. Um, uh, sometimes my brain takes a bit of time to think about what it's going to say. But yeah, let us move on to the videos. Enjoy. Are you finished? Those are my pens. You can't just eat them. Stop. Goodness. <laughs> I love my cats. There's no doubt about that. But they like to be with me 24 seven. Even when I'm working, as you can see, Gigi is on my chair and Nugget is all over my desk with all of my pens and paper but I just love them uh yep they help me get through my anxiety they help me get through any tiring work I have to do um and I love drawing them as well that's important to mention um so here we have a um commission that I did um of a beautiful really fluffy black cat and um, I like to use bullet journals to kind of do the composition and um, work out sort of how big the head will be, how big the body will be. And it really helps. Like you can see that I'm drawing just nonsense lines. But to me, these lines make sense. Oh yeah, the lead broke. Never mind. Um, and then I make notes for myself to edit digitally. Here I did another commission. Um, this one was for a lovely friend of mine and it was of their miniature dachshund. He's so cute. He's so sweet. I've also noticed that last year I did a lot of drawings of dogs. And I think they've become one of my other favourite things to draw. They're, they have such character and they've got really nice features as well. You know, like the nose and the mouth and the ears and... Um, they're just really fun to draw. I used to draw quite a lot of my own characters, you know, like humans and monsters and, you know, things like that. I seem to have forgotten to do that in my spare time and I have completely focused on drawing animals because I've gotten quite a lot of animal, um, animal illustrations and portrait, um, Commissions. I apologise if I say um a lot. I have to really think about what I say all the time. I have also found that I prefer certain markers. So I did buy some markers from B&M and they ended up destroying my sketchbook. So instead I've been buying good quality markers. So for example, a hoo hoo and who else is it I use? Yeah, I can't remember. But yeah, I've found them to be really good to use. And I highly recommend studying pictures of dogs that you've taken so that you're not stealing somebody else's image, but absolutely use a reference, but then study from it and don't copy it from somebody else. I also apologise in advance that my microphone isn't the best, I'm just using the iPad one. It's because the new microphone that I bought, it's USB and it goes into my computer, but my computer's run out of space, so I can't use it to record audio, which is irritating, but I'm going to figure that out for the next video. I took a picture of a goat at a farm last year and I really wanted to draw this really cute little goat. and. 
I was just fascinated by its, you know, the way that its face looks. I nearly said moved. Its face looks. And it was really interesting to see that I was using different techniques that I normally use. And I was using different brushes and I really need to practice that again and, and um, study lighting and things like that and texture because that was really fun. It did take a lot of time, but it was so worth it because it was really fun to work on. I apologize again, there's a lot of background noise and I don't know how to not have background noise on my iPad. Um, so we'll just work with it. I really enjoyed doing this and I, oh yes, I took some pictures of uh, some plants so that I could draw plants around the goat. I had a lot of fun working on this and animals are really relaxing to draw for me. They never used to be. Oh, and then, oh yeah, there, there's Sunday and Buttermilk comics that I was working on and I had a moment where I forgot how to draw Sunday and you will see him change in the webcomic. So you can read the webcomic on Webtoon and I have been working on it non-stop. I, I, uh, trying to keep up with bringing out a new comic every single month. I wanted to try and bring it out more often than not. However, because I've been so busy, I haven't been able to keep up with it and I am desperate to get that story out there so it would really mean a lot to me if any of you who are watching gives it a read I'd really appreciate that oh look another cat commission yay and here I did a study of my cat Gigi and I tried to make her into like a picture book character and I studied the colors that she was and I used the um what do you call it? It's like, you is it a pipette? Oh, I can't remember. I don't know what it's called. But I used that to kind of um, take some of the colour from the photograph and then colour it in. And I tried to capture her hyperactive, curious and um, flighty personality in this illustration. And I think I got it because she, she is very cautious as well. She jumps at a lot of things. Um because she's frightened of everything. I don't know why. Um, and yeah, but she's very curious as well. So if something frightens her, she'll go straight back to it. That's all I have to share for now. Next up is me talking some more about things that I've bought and things that I'm going to be up to. So I'm really excited because this week I have a art workshop at a school. Um, so what I had to do was I had to order like a bunch of stuff um, from Hobbycraft. But it can be a bit expensive sometimes in Hobbycraft, but you can get some pretty good deals when there's a sale on. So that's when I normally shop at Hobbycraft. Because my business is part of um, the Sunderland University Enterprise Place, um, I was able to get some support with um, the supplies that I needed. I had to buy a new bag because I couldn't fit everything into my backpack. I don't drive, I have to take public transport, so I can't just shove everything in a boot of a car. I've got to take it with me. So look at this bad boy! Um, it's also covered in cat hair. Great. So this has got all my stuff in that I need for tomorrow. Um, so I got like, what did I get? Let's have a look. So I got some coloured pencils. I got two lots of them. Crayola. Two packs of Crayola pens. Three packs of pencils. Some sharpness. Oh yeah, and some erasers as well. I got quite a few because I do have um, a few classes. So um, I didn't want to run out of erasers. So, oh, and the, the, the big carrying bag that I got, it's like a, called like a sketchbook bag or something. Like I got these little pencil cases inside the bag. Um, so it came with the bag and I thought that was brilliant. I could have a little little pencil case with it, wee. Then I have my, um, oh, it's a bit, <gasps> I've crumpled it a bit. Um, I've also got my um, picture book Moo uh, because the workshop will be about character design. 
Um, so I will be showing the kids how to come up with your own character and how you can make a character from experiences um, from your own life because that's what Moo is. I do also have my cats. As soon as I start recording, my cat is... Um, as soon as I start recording, my cat gets jealous. She's like, you're not paying attention to me. So I'm going to make noise in the background and ruin everything for you. Um, I think that's about it, actually. I've still got the tag on. Ignore that. But look. God. It's very heavy. Oh, my God. So I just got a parcel, right? I ordered a neck, uh, an asexual necklace. And I've literally just looked at the letter that I got and it came with a free pin. I didn't know it came with a free pin. I'm always here for a pin. Uh, yeah, I want to uh, give a shout out to I'll, I, I'll. If you want to be in the video so bad, there you go. There's your cuddle. You're a big baby. And you can be baby. You just want to be held. You just want all the attention on you. She is the main character. And yeah. Bye. So I got a book. Um, and I bought it from one of my good friends, uh, Lauren Osborne. Um, she is a fantastic... Um, She's a fantastic artist from the Northeast. She's just released her new book, which is called It's Okay to Be Me. And look how beautiful it is like it's stunning so lauren osborne it's okay to be me uh the publisher is compass publishing and this is all about lauren's experiences as an autistic woman um i'll show you some examples of the pages but you can get um you can get her book on etsy that's where i got mine from um so here are some examples um of some of our work it's stunning like all stunning it's all done with um with fine liner oh, i'm gonna see one of my favorite um spreads i love this one i love this one with um lauren's friends and family i think that's beautiful and i remember seeing look at that isn't that stunning I remember seeing um, some of the illustration, some of the illustration she she'd done um, before she released the book, and I was like, I need it, so I got it. Um, so yeah, I will link her Etsy below. I will also link where I got this necklace from um, below as well. Um, that's about it, I think. Um, I've been very busy working on commissions, so many commissions, where whether it be pet portraits, couple portraits. Um, sometimes I get people asking, oh, can you do this? Like, which it could be like a, a design for um, literally anything. And that's like a, a commission on the side with that as well. I don't even know if that makes sense, but I'm just going to leave it at that. So um, I had to stop ordering Patch Magazine because I couldn't afford it um, and I needed the money for workshop stuff. Um, it's really not expensive but I needed to um, focus on the the purchases I needed for my workshop but Patch is a fantastic magazine about um, different games that have come out and um, a lot of them are like a lot of the games are like cozy games, but then also you've got things like Until Dawn. Until Dawn's fantastic. I've got this one as well. They also have recipes. Not that I can cook, but I should really try. Oh, this looks so cute as well. So I've had quite a lot of um, work to do with commissions. Um, so that's why you probably have it. So that's why you probably haven't heard from me. Um, I did used to have a lot more free time, but now I have a day job and I also have my commissions and stuff and workshops. So I, I'm not really on YouTube a lot, but I am trying to make a conscious effort 
to upload more. Um, Gigi, do you like Lauren's book? Um, so yeah, that's about it. It was just a little bit of a catch up to say what I've been doing and what I've been working on. And um, I have put in some things that I've been working on um, during the past couple of months in 2022 and then the beginning of this year, just in this video. And I hope you enjoyed that. I don't have anything else to say apart from keep being creative, um, keep believing in yourself as well. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.